Alright, so who am I here with? Big Zen, the motherfucking biggest, real stuff side bitch. You ain't know the fucking vibes, yeah. Alright, so for the people out there that's watching that that might not know what you do, just to spend a little bit about seven, what you do? I'm an artist, queen of study rap. I took that big shit. I took heavy. You already know what the fuck going on. Big titties, big ass, best throat, best ass. Don't fuck play with me. Yeah. All right. So how did you get the name Big Zen? Because everything about me heavy. Like, what you talking about? Okay. Big everything. Ain't shit little about me. Nah, I feel you. I know you see me. <laughs> I see you. I see you. I... What kind of got you into the whole music stuff? Um... I was in a choir when I was younger, and before this, I used to model, so I decided just to switch lanes real quick, and that was, like, the best thing I ever did, because this shit is lit. In a choir? You was in a choir? Yeah. Like a singing choir or shit? Yeah, but don't ask me the same. No, I'm not going to ask you the same. Okay. How old was you when you was in a choir? Um, I was younger, probably, like, I want to say 10. So how was your upbringing like? Well, I'm African, so my parents are very strict. I'm Nigerian and Liberian, so you know how that go. Um, yeah, but... Other than that, I'm pretty spoiled, you know, never really struggled. But don't get it wrong, like, everybody go through shit, so don't get that twisted. Okay, so how does your creative process in the studio, like, like do you freestyle or do you have stuff ran down? Um, I write before I get to the studio, so I write in my room, everything, on my songs and shit, and then I go to the studio and knock it out. In your songs, I see you talk a lot about, like, sexualized shit and stuff like that. Uh, bitches be hating, but just wanna fuck me, I know the hope wants some attention. Never impressed by no dicks and no none of these niggas could fuck me on money. So, do they compare you to Megan Thee Stallion? Um, I used to, but not really anymore. Right now, I get like cash doll and motherfucking Little Kim and shit like that. That's my yeah. bitch. I love Lil' Kim. Little, you think Little Kim kind of inspire you a little bit? She definitely inspires me, and I'm in a little bit a lot. Like, I love her. So, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, I see myself really influencing a lot of young females, which I'm doing now, and just being the biggest artist in my own lane that I could be. Like, just wilding out. So, you said influence, so... For the, for the females out there that want to start doing music and stuff like that, any inspiration, any word of advice you give the people? Bitch, do it. Do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Do that shit. Talk your shit and get lit. Like, I'm telling you, my, my fucking pickup lines is just for me talking shit. And that shit got me a long way. So really just talk your shit. Be you. Don't switch lanes. Just do what you got to do. And you're going to get far. What's next for you? Like, what you got? Like, any upcoming projects, music video, any stuff like that? Um, I got a single dropping called Pussy Shop. Video coming soon. I don't really want to say the feature because it's a surprise. But it's two features on that shit. So, yeah. All right. So where the people can find you at? Um, You can find me on Instagram, underscore, underscore, Big Zen. Yeah, and on all streaming platforms, Big Zen, if you want to listen to my music, but bitch, listen to my music. And make sure you fuck your niggas to my music, and make sure y'all niggas is fucking y'all bitches to my music, and that's just it. Okay, all right, so I got a question. I was wondering if I could give you that. Oh. I, it, it's just a joke. It's a, it's an airhead. It was a joke. Yo, it was a joke. Airhead. Talk your shit, talk your shit.